Hey everybody, welcome back to Frog Talk Television. You're here with Joe Dibley and two other fabulous women. And I'm about to bring on a woman who I deeply admire for what she's done. You know, we all have stuff that show up that shows up in our life and we can either choose to transform that or we can stay in it. And many of you know that Frog Talk Television is all about featuring people that are change agents in the world that have chosen to take their, as we call their mess, and turn it into their message and serve others. And Nadine is one of these women, and you're going to meet her in just a second. But before we do that, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this and do make sure that when you finish watching the video that you reach out to our various people that we feature. This is an opportunity for you to meet the change agents in the world. And we only feature those that are living frock free and delivering at their highest value. So without further ado, I'm going to bring on our guest for today, which is Nadine Hatcher. I'm so excited to have you here. This is awesome. Uh, you know, when I, had, when I first met you and I have had a chance to, you know, review some information about you, what I see consistent is in everything you do, you show up fully heart present and ready to help people make changes in their life. So I would love you to share a little bit about how or what your why is, why you got started and tell us a little bit about you, please. And welcome again to the show. Well, thank you so much, Joe. Um, I'm here today because, well, I've always been passionate and curious about people. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I started taking workshops when I was a teenager, just because I was very, very interested in that. Um, partly because I had a, a, a tragic accident when I was uh, a, six years old. My brother was killed in a hit and run accident. And my mom never recovered. So that led me into being very curious about how to help people better their lives and have a better quality of life. So that's pretty much how I got here. <laughs> yeah. And you know, when you talk about that, I find in everything we do on a daily basis that it's incident that transforms us. It can either transform us into doing something really amazing with our life or it can swallow us. And, you know, losing a sibling at that age is so traumatic and, you know, sadly for your mom. And this is a common story that we hear in the world where people are stuck. There are more people stuck than there are doing things with that mess that created that, if that makes any sense, you know. And I think it's, probably the reason that you tend to focus on who you do. So if you, if you were to describe the people you work with, tell us a bit about who they are. Well, I work a lot with uh, couples and uh, I have a personality profiling system that I developed um, in the last 35 years. Wow. And I, uh, I work with them to understand each other better. Uh, I also help them to have skills to communicate better and um, I also work with business partners I, I do some consulting work as well and so any relationship whether it be a mother daughter or son or father or business partners or or even management teams I, I work with with those those are the people that I work with I, it's all about relationship mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. it seems to be that a lot of what you're doing, obviously in the relationship piece, but also a lot to do with trauma as well. Is that correct? That's also correct. My other mm -hmm. specialty is with trauma and I've developed a system that helps people release the negative emotions off the trauma so they can literally get on with a better quality of life without it having an effect on them anymore. Mm -hmm. That is so important because without that, people will stay in that place. You know, I, I spent years in hiding and trying to figure it all out. So where were you then? <laughs> you know, it, it's amazing though, what happens when we do let go of the past and we step into, you know, our genius plane or whatever we want to call it, you know, all of us are created or born or, you know, are here to do something 
that's bigger than when we arrived. And only we can create that safe space. And I, and I see that when people interact with you. I see how people are around you in your presence. And so it's clear that you are living your intended purpose. You alluded a little bit to uh, the personality process that you developed. Tell us a bit about that. Well, um, over the last 35 years, I developed a processing uh, files and it's called pet process, pet personality process. And um, basically it, it talks about how people interact with their environment, how they receive communication, how they actually communicate with the world, what happens when they're stressed and where they go and what kind of personality things come out when they're stressed or if they're feeling insecure, how to create more security, how to, how to come out of the stressful places. So for me, it's really all about them having the tools to know themselves and to also know other people so that they can come from a heartfelt space um, which, you know, to me, I, I really work a lot with also heart consciousness uh, mm -hmm. because I really feel people need to listen to their intuition. I totally agree. And it sounds to me then that you're creating more customized programs or customized counseling uh, services. Is that correct? Yes, actually, one of the main differences between me and, and say other counselors is quite often they have a, a program that they work with. I have many different tools. I have a large toolbox. And so I design the counseling or the, or the program around the person or the, the people that I'm working with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's critical because, you know, all of us are coming at life from a different place. All of us have experienced our own things. And so when we are trying when people try to fit somebody into a box for example that one size fits all it doesn't work right and i do think in counseling it's even more critical because it's really hearing where the person's coming from so that is amazing to know so well if we know that it's customized what else would separate yourself from some other counselor what makes you different is what i'm asking well, I use mainly non-traditional forms of therapy. So I do things like neuro-linguistic programming, which really is a, a large word or large words to just say, how, does, how do you operate your human computer? Mm -hmm. um, and I also use a therapy called um, time-released or time-linked release therapy, which helps to release negative emotions off of past events. Again, mm -hmm. so that you're not affected in your present um, by your past traumatic or or negative events in your life so I, I use a lot of different um, tools and techniques I'm a trained iridologist I'm a trained nutritionist um, I, I'm also trained in, in various forms of energy work um, and meditation and and so I, I have I have a lot of different certificates um, that I've, I've gotten over the years and I'm a continual learner. So um, I believe in, in education and learning and part of the process is actually me educating people as well. Mm -hmm. and that's so important, isn't it? When, you know, people make a decision, a lot, you know, when you're alluding to all the different things you do, this means that you stay on top of what's going on or what's available for your clients, which that's the difference to me to someone who is really passionate about what they're doing. That shows continued, you know, continued improvement or continued, continued personal and professional development to me is a sign of success for people that are really wanting to serve at their highest level. So I, I thank you for that. I guess I would ask if there was one thing that you could do differently, what would it be and why? One thing I could do differently. Um, I think I would affect more people. So I think that I would, would get out there and um, speak to larger groups. Right now I, I work with groups, you know, I work with couples, I work with teams, but usually I'm not speaking to larger groups. And I think that um, getting the message out there and working with larger groups would be something that I would be interested in doing. Um, I, I've also, developed a book. I don't know if this is the time yes, to share. Please, please. Um, this is called A Book to Live By. It's a workbook and journal. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's basically a guided 
uh, journaling workbook to keep you positively focused. So no matter what's going on in your life, you stay positively focused. That's wonderful. And do you think then, given what you were just saying and, and you know, all the different tools you have in your toolbox, do you think if someone has been through, you know, tremendous trauma, I'll take myself out of the mix because I know for myself how I feel, but do you think anyone can get back and reclaim their life? Do you think there's a way, is there just too much or is there, is there a way to find your way back? It's never too much. You can always get your way back. You can always mm -hmm. um, go beyond it and you can always have a better quality of life. Mm -hmm. I 100% agree. It's just, it's interesting to hear because of what you do in your professional opinion. It, for me, it's very much about it's choice and access to the knowledge so that we can do what we need to do, do the work that we need to do so we can reclaim our life. So, you know, it, I'm so excited to have you doing this and, and sharing with our, our tribe as well. Um, as many of you know, we have the Brock off revolution. <laughs> Some would call it the movement. Uh, and it is women like Nadine that are change agents in the world that are making a difference. Now, Nadine, how can people find you? How can they locate you? Well, I'm located in Victoria. Mm -hmm. and I have a, an office um, at uh, Suite 135, 1555 mm -hmm. Mackenzie in mm -hmm. Avenue in Victoria. Um, they can also call my phone uh, and make an appointment if they'd like to or set something up. It's 250 three eight four one three four one okay. um, they can also go to my website which is www.progressiveplus.com perfect perfect and we'll also include that information for people uh, and what a pleasure it is to know you and see the work that you're doing my dear because I have watch as I said I've watched you in a room and it's such a it's such a pleasure and uh, before we go, I want to bring in uh, another woman who is the reason Frock Talk Television actually exists. So it's one thing to have this dream about bringing people together and sharing. Um, another woman who I deeply admire, and I often refer to her as my big sister, though she's not bossy, it would be me that is. Uh, she is the big brain behind Frock Talk Television, and I would love for Sue, for you to join us and share a little bit about yourself and, and you know, and contribute in, in any part of the conversation. I, I know you always have amazing insights on Frock Talk. Well, thank you, Joe, very much. Um, yes, my name is Sue Ferreira. I, I'm the old bitty techie dude. I love technology <clears throat> and I realize what a huge gift it is to us today in getting our message out. And as Ad Nadine was saying, she would like to get her message out to bigger audiences. And I think she was really referring maybe to talking to rooms of women, maybe 40, 50, and then you can go up to 500, 1,000. But my passion is taking you um, out to the rest of the world. Um, and it's not an intimidating place to go because uh, we're all people and uh, there is so much opportunity for you, Nadine, to do what you do in a much, much bigger way um, and for people to find you online. And, and in fact, you know, you can do all your counseling and everything else online, just as we're doing this interview. I do this all the time. My, my, I have clients in the States. I have clients in uh, different provinces in Canada. There is no limit. There is no borders to who you can reach with tech. So I help you take your message to the world via tech and, uh, it's immensely satisfying to see people blossom under this new, this whole new world that we've created in the last 20, 30 years. So that's me. And I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing you, Nadine, at uh, the upcoming event. And uh, we're all going to have a really wonderful time because we always do. Awesome. Sue, so thank you again. And Nadine, thank you so much for, you know, stepping into your purpose because clearly you are, where you need to be. And I do agree with Sue, you know, this technology has allowed us to go much bigger and much broader. And I can definitely see you rocking the stage, whether it's virtual or any other stage, um, because the only limit that we have 
in this day and age, especially if we have access to this, is our own thought process, our mindset that says, yes, I can, or no, I can't. And here at Proc Talk, it's all about, yes, I can. We'll figure out how sometimes later. And that's not really important. What is important, though, is we appreciate you. We appreciate you watching. And we hope that today has provided you some insight into what's possible in your life when you decide to stand up and say yes and do all that's necessary to, as Nadine said, it's never too late to take back your life. Until we see you again, have a frothalicious day and take care. Bye-bye for now.